Agus a glaithe cianis na héirin, léirig Johnny a chumas gorála a ríst, agus a ríst eile. Yeah, we started very poorly. Um, we went five points down early, uh, one two to no score, and we were struggling um, as a unit everywhere in the pitch. I think Damien Barton gave me the pass and turned inside again. It was a handy angle for left foot, kicked it over, ran out, thought at least we're on the board. The player from the Abbey, raising Derry's spirits. Nothing probably would have happened without his first score. I mean, they were one goal and two points down to nothing. They were kind of a wee bit at sea, and Johnny pops up with the first score. And from then on, Derry actually kind of dominated the balance of play. Little chip inside. John O'Driscoll coming in. He scored! Hussey, uh, Cocky, Chachter Ash. It was a uh, refer Johnny and Cooling. Uh, Eganam, a worshi, we did a free brew. It was being shin, being cooling shin into Tabata. The second point came, I suppose, put us two ahead. Um, Enda Gorman gave me a, a quick free, and we were against the breeze, and I forced it with the outside of my left foot, and I, I really wasn't that happy with it. I, I was a bit unsure of it, but uh, as luck would have it, it, everything was running for me at that stage, and I went over. Final hustle blew, but there was a serious relief within all of the players. We just fell to the ground and realised that we'd probably achieve one of the greatest things, I suppose, that Gaelic footballer can, can achieve, and that the Holy Grail had, had come to Derry at last. We grew up together, we went to university together, we played Sigerton, we played Fitz, Fitzgibbon together, we played at St Pat's together, we played at club level together, we played underage together. You know, and then you end up uh, winning in all Ireland, and uh, your brother's at full forward, and, and one of your best friends is a, is a great half back. Of course, it's fantastic. Two stars on the head of the world, and we feel now for in Kalura and Kelly's father Johnny. I suppose the aftermath was one of euphoria. Um, players went to Quinn's bar outside, and. I think I didn't get out of that bar until half eight. I nearly missed the Sunday game. We got a Garda escort across Dublin to the Sunday game. Well then, your choice for our man of the match? Well, I picked a, a small man with a big heart, Johnny McGough. To pick a five foot six man on the team is probably out of the question, but when Eamon's five foot two himself, it's yours, not out of the question. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the RT Sport Man of the Match for the football final. Very deserving winner, Johnny McGurk. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>